24, did you read 23? All right, that's both of them. All right, we want to be renewed. Be renewed in the attitude of your mind by renouncing its vanity, its darkness, and blindness. The saints, uh, the saints, we as saints of God, we have trials, we have some uh, conflicts, we have suffering and temptation. And all of these things produce weaknesses. It produces fatigue. Therefore, our soul needs to be renewed or we will faint and be overcome. We will faint and die unless we are renewed. We must be renewed daily. Paul faced suffering, he faced trial and distress, but he knew that one day, all of the things that he 
Gentile see. There may be envy in our heart, jealousy, all of these things that man cannot see. For God sees every bit of it. These are some of the things that we've got to get rid of if we want the inward man to be as the inward man should be. We ought to tell God on today to renew our desire, renew the inward man. Lord, I need something inside of me. Glory to God. Glory to God. My outside may get look good, but what about the inside? The inside can be corrupt. We can look so good on the outside, and the filth is in the inside because we're jealous. We're envying the individual. We're thinking the wrong thing. Therefore, I need to say, God, do something for me. Come in and change. Thank you. 
to our brother. Glory to God. It says, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Lord will not allow you to mistreat your sister or brother. Glory to God. We got to get this thing right. We got to get it right. Thank you, Jesus. We're not going to heaven anyhow. We got to be right to get to heaven. Thank you, Jesus. We need to be renewed. Glory to God. Renewed. That's why it's important to hear the word. That's why it's important when there are revivals. To hear the word. Come to the revival. We don't want to come to the revival. Now, we used to have revivals for a whole week, two weeks. We can't even take three nights. Can't even take three nights. What's wrong? God has not changed. God is the same. Glory to God. We got to get it right. We are being renewed by the visitation of God's Spirit, His Holy Spirit. His Holy Spirit will revive you. It will quicken you. It will strengthen you. That's why we need the Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Once you get saved, that's not all of it. You need something to stand, to keep you. You need the baptism of the Holy Ghost. You need the power. Because once you get saved, the devil is coming. If you don't have no power, he'll hook you down to your knees. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. When you got the Holy Ghost in you, you can stand. You know, when we were growing up, we used to get behind a person and hit them in the bend of their knees. Knees went in, we say, they weak. Glory to God. But when you got the Holy Ghost, you can stand. Glory to God. You got some power. You got some strength. Yeah. Glory to God. And that's what we need today. Some strength. Because the devil is out there. The devil is busy. Busy. I don't know if you can see it, but we are living in the last days. And he's trying to do everything that he can to turn you around, to turn me around. We look at the outward man. We want to feel good. We want to be healthy. That's why a lot of times we say we're going to lose weight. We go to the gym. We do a lot of things. We go and have our nails done. And go and have our hair done. All of this is for the outward man. But what are you doing for the inward man? What are you doing to be right with God? Because God is coming back. And he's going to judge us. God is coming back. And he's looking for holy people. What about the inward man that we can't see? I told you, this is the one that God sees. What does God see when he look at us? I wonder, I wonder. Is he pleased with what he sees? What does he see when he look at me? What does he see when he look at you? Does he see jealousy? I'm jealous of my sister, my brother. Does he see envy? Does it see foolish talk? Some people talk foolishness. They just, so I've been around some folks, nothing good. Okay? They just talk foolish. The talk is so foolish. So foolish that you don't even want to be around. Is that what he finds with us? If we are saved, we ought not be talking foolish. Are we disobedient? Do we give, a lot, give out a lot of vain words? Are we hard headed? Stubborn? Are we quick to get that angry? Every little thing upsets you, make you angry, or do when you look at us, do you find evil speaking? Do you find the bitterness in us? These are things that should not be in us. It says renewal of the inward man. So we gotta let God work on the inner person. The inward person is the one that I want God to do something for. Well, ask God to come into my heart. Crave a clean heart in me, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And Ephesians 4 and 23 says that be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Some of us, our minds need to be changed. We need to reset. We reset what? Reset. We need a back of mind. The 24 saying that you put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and holiness. Holy people. God is coming back looking for holy people. Yes. He says, for I am holy. And you ought to be holy also. Yes. Glory to 
given place to the day. Amen. You let it again abuse you. Amen. Glory to God. See, we can't fall into his trap. Amen. He wants to discourage you, but you can't even let him discourage you. Amen. You got to encourage yourself. Amen. Glory to God. You don't have to wait on anybody to encourage you. Encourage yourself. All of us like encouragement. Amen. But sometimes you're not going to get it. Sometimes you got to encourage yourself. The scripture tells us, wherefore he said, awake thou that sleepeth, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. We got to wake up, people. It's time for us to wake up. We've been sleeping too long. We need to get up and shake yourself. Shake yourself a little bit. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. And see what God is saying in his word. Glory to God. We can't be sleeping. Why are you sleeping? The devil is whipping people.
After hearing the word of God, if you want to make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior, I invite you and I encourage you to do so at this time. Just pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. And I believe that you rose again. And Jesus, I pray that you will forgive me for my sins and that you will cleanse me from all unrighteousness. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer with me, you are now my brother or my sister in Christ. And we are so happy and excited that you made Jesus Christ your choice. Let us hear from you. If you made the awesome decision to make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior, we would love to hear from you. Use the information on your screen to contact us and we will be praying for you. If you do not have a church home, we would love to have you into our fellowship at Jerusalem Temple. Just email us your name and your number and a member of our ministerial staff will contact you with further information on how you can do so. If you would like to be a financial blessing to this ministry, keep watching for further information. We're so glad that you joined us for this service, and we ask that you would like our Facebook page as well as subscribe to Jerusalem Temple's YouTube channel. If any of our services have been a blessing to you, we ask that you would be a blessing to this ministry. You may give your tax-deductible contribution by one of these methods. Through Givelify, simply looking up Jerusalem Temple, Church of God in Christ in Leland, Mississippi. PayPal. Or you may mail your check payable to Jerusalem Temple at P.O. Box 329, Leland, Mississippi, 38756. That address again is P.O. Box 329, Leland, Mississippi, 38756. We definitely want to stay connected with you. Continue to visit Jerusalem Temple's page for updates, weekly Bible studies, prayer calls, and all services. Thank you and God bless.